After the Civil War, there were also African Americans, nicknamed Buffalo Soldiers, who served at the forts in West Texas, in the 9th and 10th Cavalry, and in the 24th and 25th Infantry. Despite the fact that these men were guarding the lives and property of the settlers, they were not well received or appreciated. These uh, regiments were composed of black enlisted men and uh, white officers. Um, at first they turned in a truly dismal performance because most of uh, the enlisted men were illiterate. Some of them had come off of uh, southern plantations. Uh, they uh, lacked motivation. They lacked uh, any kind of competence and almost all the work had to be done by the officers. Uh, however, as time went on, uh, these uh, regiments developed into the very best of the frontier regiments simply because they had the lowest desertion rates and the highest reenlistment rates of any of the regiments in the regular army. This was because uh, the regular army afforded one of the few places in uh, post-Civil War America uh, where, where blacks could take pride in what they were doing and be rewarded for what they were doing, uh, wear a uniform, get paid, and have any sense of uh, advancement up the ranks. They could go up and be sergeants. This in spite of the fact that uh, they endured the most searing uh, discrimination, both within the army and without. Wherever they were stationed on the frontier, they were apt to uh, endure terrible discrimination by uh, adjacent white communities. You read the history of Fort Concho up uh, uh, on the, at the forks of the Concho River and uh, read the, uh, uh, the treatment that they received at the hands of the citizens of San Angelo.